Other local districts are weighing the same decision and some teachers unions are urging schools to comply with state guidance to go virtual when cases in their areas reach a certain threshold. Shelby Cassessi is live now to explain which districts could be affected. Shelby. Can one of the largest teachers unions here in Pennsylvania say some districts are disregarding the state's recommendation and holding in person classes when they should be virtual? Those teachers unions pleading with those districts tonight to reconsider. As coronavirus cases surge in Pennsylvania, union representatives say teachers' concerns are growing. Particularly those in counties that have been deemed to have a substantial level of community spread where school districts are continuing to do some form of in-person instruction. Chris Lilienthal is with the Pennsylvania State Education Association. The union is calling upon school districts to follow state guidelines and sending a clear message to those that aren't. It is just absolutely unacceptable for any district to disregard the advice of experts right now when we're seeing this swing in infection rates. The state health department tracks transmission rates by county each week. They recommend any school districts and counties with substantial transmission for at least two weeks move to a remote model. In our area, those counties include Armstrong, Indiana, Lawrence, and Venango, highlighted in red. Transmission rates in Butler and Mercer counties, highlighted in orange, have been substantial for only one week. All other counties in yellow are seeing moderate transmission, which allows for blended learning. I think this causes too much anxiety for both the students and the teachers. Uh, and the numbers keep going up. PSEA isn't the only teachers union speaking up. Nina Esposito Viscaitis of the American Federation of Teachers says schools work hard to provide a safe environment, but is urging schools in areas with high rates of community spread to transition to remote learning. And I think everybody's working their hardest, but some things you just can't control, and we've got to put safety first. We did hear from the Allegheny County Health Department today. They say transmission of the virus is actually very minimal in classrooms. They're seeing more spread of the virus among students at gatherings outside of school. Reporting live in the South Side, Shelby Cassessi, KDK News.